What's going on, family? The entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with the Gamecock review. And uh, I'm still watching the game. There's no point of me finishing the game because, as it looks right now, we are two and four. We lost to Texas A&M right now. It's 41 to three. I'm watching the game right now. The reason why it was three because of fourth down and Will Muschamp decided to go for a field goal instead of just going for it fourth down. Hey, and yeah, we didn't kick an onside kick. So I guess Will Muschamp's thinking is, yo, look, I'd rather score than to lose 41 to zero. It doesn't matter, loss or loss, whether you lose by one point lose by 100 points still lost my thoughts on this situation first and foremost man our offense looked terrible Colin Hill does not need to be starting another game for the Gamecocks we either need to have Ryan Haliski or we need to have Perry Darley playing even if we had a two quarterback system if we lose all our games it doesn't really matter because there's a thing people we're not a very good football team we made Texas A&M look like last year LSU team. Their quarterback pretty much threw whatever he wanted to do. They pretty much ran the ball wherever they needed to run. They did everything possible right to game. And what did we do? Our running game wasn't that well. Uh, receivers really wasn't that well. Dropping balls. It. This is a mess. And... When the team doesn't execute, here's the problem. It's 100% coaching. Now, Will Muschamp can sit up here and speak all this jargon about what we didn't do, about the, the, the team, the breakdown, all this stuff. Will Muschamp is a very knowledgeable football coach. We give that to him. We give him that. We give him that. But the main thing is simple. He is not an SEC coach head coach he may be a defense coordinator and I, I think the defense is suspect because after five years our defense looks like this he may be a good recruiter because we, we do have ever since he's been here we had a top 25 class up until this point every year he's recruited we had a top 25 class but newsflash we're always at the bottom of the sec so it doesn't matter when you have a top 25 recruiting class if we're at the bottom of the SEC, how can we make up ground to really be a player in the SEC East? We're not talking about winning. We're not talking about um, just, you know, winning a national championship. We're talking about can we be a competitive team in the SEC East? <laughs> Ten years ago, we was competing for the SEC East. And we won it, and we was playing Auburn for the SEC Championship. Now, that year they had Cam Newton, but I, I believe that within that span of 2010 to 2014, we had the team to really take it to the next level. So my question to you, Gamecock Nation, is this. We all know Will much have got to get up out of here, man, and Ray Tanner for hiring him and for giving him a four-year extension because if he did not give him that four-year ex extension – this would have been his last year at Carolina. But because way Ray Tanner wanted to give him a extension when after the bowl game, we lost that bowl, by the way, and he was playing with Spurrier talent, right? The first year, I think we were seven or eight wins. I, I can't remember. But, but still, after a bowl loss, you want to give him an extension. And a huge buyout, $15 million. And we're in a pandemic, so do you think that we're going to fire a coach and we got to pay out a $15 million buyout and his annual salary is $3 million? So if he's straight because if he gets fired, he gets to sit at home for $15 million. So I think that's poor management on Ray Tanner, and he needs to go as well. We need an AD that knows what he's talking about, know how to pick a coach, and we need a coach that can come in and change the culture of Carolina football. I believe Sean Elliott from Georgia State, we let him go because we wanted to get a name and we got Will Muschamp. He should have got the job before Will Muschamp. I'd rather try it with him for a few years. If that didn't work out, 
heck, we could have went out and got a coach. We got the best facilities in the SEC. Columbia is a great place to be. I'm from, born and raised in Columbia, South Carolina. I know that we can win because we proved it time and time again, first with uh, Lou Holtz back in 99, and then we was ro rocking and rolling, winning nine games a year. And then when Spurrier took over, he turned that program around until we became a 10 to 11 win program every single year. So the question is the, the, the same. Will Muschamp got to go? I said it last week. I said it again. Will Muschamp got to go? His decision-making does not make any sense. Okay? You're down 41 to 1. He put – Bro, he put Colin Hill in the game when it was down 28 to 0. Why? Why? When he wasn't playing good at all. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below, man. Will Muschamp, this is garbage. <laughs> this is truly is garbage. Um, let me know what you think about the comment section below. I'll leave y'all updated with, with more updates. But yeah, man, uh, Will Muschamp, nope, 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 can't do it. Can't coach him, can't do it. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section below. Again, it's an entertainer, motivated, educated, lucky Murray back with the game cop review. And yeah, man, we suck. <laughs> we, we, hey, man, we on a trash bus, man. I don't know how we beat Auburn, but that was a fluke game. As you can see, we're probably not going to win any more games this year. We're probably going to end up with two games or two winnings this year. Uh, but until next time, people.